<laughs> hey folks, good morning. Hey, we are in a place called Loveland, Colorado, and Marvie and I are doing some urban camping uh, for at least a week, maybe two, and I'll talk about that probably next week. Um, however, today I want to respond specifically to somebody who wrote a message uh, after watching our videos, primarily my videos on Kodiak tents. And uh, you can see one of the links up above right here, I'll put it up. Um, but anyway, he had asked because he has a family and he was going to get ready to buy a tent, he wasn't quite sure which tent to buy. I wanted to respond to it because you know, a lot of you are maybe either going to become nomads or it's a season for camping and you want to get a good tent. And so I'm going to talk about the differences between nylon tents and canvas tents, mainly because he wanted to know he had a family and he said he could buy a really nice nylon tent for about the same price of a canvas tent, which is correct. You know, you can get um, some pretty expensive nylon tents too. So I want to kind of go through a few of those like a Ben Franklin thing good and bad what's good and bad uh, and take a look at the differences so first of all let's talk about what is a canvas tent and what's a nylon tent a nylon tent it could be uh, it's nylon it's a synthetic it's a polymer and you know and pretty much everybody knows what nylon tents are uh, canvas tents used to be made out of hemp but now they're mostly almost no I can't say they're all cotton I know the spring bar and the Kodiak canvas tents are 100% duck cloth cotton um, and you may find some pretty cheap manufacturers out there that's going to be a poly cotton blend but for this video I'm going to talk about the cotton tents versus the nylon tent so let's talk about some of the things that you want to take in consideration and the first one is going to be the weight. And if you're an older person or a smaller frame person, uh, you definitely want to take that into consideration. You know, my uh, Kodiak tent, which is a 10 by 14, weighs close to 100 pounds or 80 pounds with the poles and the canvas. And though they do come in different sacks, which makes it very manageable, it's heavy in the vehicle and uh, a nylon tent is so much lighter so much easier to set up while it may be heavy if you get like a six or eight person tent it's nothing compared to a canvas tent so in that case as far as weight we're going to have to give it to the nylon tents now the next one would be size because nylon's a thinner material the poles have a tendency to be much much smaller besides the weight the actual size is going to be a lot smaller in comparison to a canvas tent so if you're looking to go into a really tight spot to store it uh, if you're in a small vehicle or something that is a major uh, consideration uh, so again once again we've got the nylon tents are better uh, solution hey before we go any further let me let you know of a secret it doesn't matter you can buy either one just get out and go camping go enjoy yourself okay um, do that just it doesn't matter really you're gonna enjoy nature civilization didn't cease to exist because they bought one tent or the other and it didn't work out okay the idea is you can survive in just about anything so all of this checklist that I'm gonna give you now and go over, these are just things to consider. It's really gonna be based on your personal preference. Okay, the next one is strength. People are concerned if you have a family or if you're by yourself uh, or if you go into town or go for a long hike and the wind and the storm comes up, strength. Hands down, canvas tents are, if set up properly, given that both of them are set up properly, um, the canvas tents are overall, in most situations, uh, the smarter decision to go. They can handle higher winds, more extreme temperatures, hot or cold. Um, they're going to resist punctures and tears 100% better than the nylon tent. So overall, the strength uh, would be the way to go, would be actually the canvas one. 
So given that situation, just on the strength, when you look at the longevity, and uh, when you look at the longevity, a canvas tent, again, both of them being equally taken care of well, the, um, the canvas tent is going to be a lot, it will last a lot longer. Now, so with all of that in consideration, let's talk about the ROI or your return on investment. Um, that's a very, very difficult question because your return on investment depends on really not only how long you own it, but how inexpensive or expensive it is. You can buy a $5 tent and you may only want it to last for a day, for an overnight, and throw it away. Good return on investment, it lasts for two or three camping trips, right? But overall, because of its strength and all of the other things that come with a canvas tent, that's going to be a much better return on your investment. But again, that's going to be subjective based on use. Let's talk about breathability because um, you're in a tent and it's summertime, the wind's not blowing, which one is going to be more breathable? Again, it's going to be the canvas, canvas breeze. It's got a very tight weave of cotton, but overall it's gonna be breathable, which also means less condensation or no condensation. Um, basically, a nylon tent will have the, uh, the tent itself, and then you have a rain fly, which has a polyurethane coating on the inside of that nylon to make it um, waterproof. Well, if it's waterproof, it means water can't get in or out. So when you've got a full tent covered with a rain fly, uh, you're gonna have problems with uh, uh, condensation and having it feeling a lot hotter. Also with the sun hitting it, that's gonna heat it up and with the inside and the air not moving, that's not gonna be so good. So that's one thing to consider is um, the canvas tent is going to breathe a lot better. That being said, if you get a nylon tent or a canvas tent with windows all the way around, you're gonna have less of a problem with condensation. So the one way to sneak around that is going to be uh, by getting a tent with a lot of windows uh, on it. My Kodiak tent has windows all the way around, so when the weather's not too bad, I can. it's just a beautiful view. And you can get nylon tents like that too. But overall, um, condensation, uh, we're gonna give it to, and breathability, uh, you're gonna get much better with canvas tent. Along with that, you know, UV rays in the summer, or if you're wintering as a nomad in the desert, your tent, a nylon tent is not going to last that long. Maybe two seasons, maybe three. It really depends on if you're going out for two months or six months. It's just so much uh, UV rays and sunlight that's going to dry out and destroy that nylon. It's going to very probably within the first season easily discolor it. Uh, canvas tents, not an issue at all. Uh, UV rays have very little impact on canvas tents. So again, a UV rays is going to have to go to having a canvas tent would be much better. Okay, how about in the wind? Well, if you're going to be First of all, no tent in the wind is going to be quiet. However, canvas tents being made of cotton are a lot quieter in the wind. I have been in a nylon tent, a GE24, a VE24 by um, North Face. I think it was a $500 tent when I had bought it. But I had that in 60 mile an hour winds on top of a glacier. And... Uh, the wind outside plus just the shaking and the rattling, very noisy. I don't suggest taking a canvas tent up on top of a mountain on a glacier, but just because of the weight. However, um, it's not a bad, um, the noise factor is going to go to the benefit of owning a canvas tent, much quieter. And also, if um, the smell, one, it's kind of nice like a new car, when you get a new tent, you've got that nice chemical smell, you know. Um, some people like it, I didn't. But um, also just overall, my canvas tent doesn't smell. It just doesn't smell. I keep it clean, I keep it dry. It doesn't smell, nylon tent smell. Um, so I'm gonna give that one over to the uh, canvas tent as well. Now again, if we're talking about 
um, expense, you know, my Kodiak was, I think, around $690. You can get a Eddie Bauer Pantheon, I think it's called Pantheon, um, nylon tent for $3,000. So, you know, um, as far as expense, I, I think $600 or $700 for a larger tent is not a big deal. Okay, so that's something to consider also is the relative cost of the tent. And again, we go back to that return on investment. And finally, the waterproofing. The waterproofing, first of all, I threw 50 some odd years, if not longer, of camping. I've seen so many people get soaked and wet um, in storms because they don't set up their tent right. But if a, any tent is set up properly, it should keep you dry. But canvas tents overall are far, far more um, uh, waterproof. Uh, you can also poly, uh, you can also waterproof them with spray to help maintain them. Once the polyurethane coating on a nylon tent starts to go and get wet, then you're just not going to, you know, have the waterproofing that you would want uh, on that. So I think that's going to wrap it up with uh, the differences between them. For the person who who wrote in asking the question, I don't know if I gave you any solid answers on whether you want to go with a, a nylon tent or a canvas tent. Uh, it really depends on your family, what you want to do. Since you have your wife or your kids to help set it up, a canvas tent may be the way that you might want to go on that. But. Um, it's really a personal preference. Uh, Spring Bar makes a great canvas tent as well as Kodiak. The difference between the two of them is I think the materials are both made um, in China, the actual duck cloth, but um, I think the cotton, but um, I think Spring Bar does more things here in the United States while I believe that Kodiak is its own American company in Utah, but I think it's already assembled. Uh, so that's something to consider is whether you want to buy American, but it's still going to be Chinese as far as the parts are, are concerned. Um, they're both very similar. Uh, Spring Bar is a bit more expensive because it's more American assembled. Uh, and uh, they have a little bit different design. One of the structural things about the spring bar, which is advantageous, is it's got some kind of a heavy rope going around the perimeter sewed into it. So when you stake it down, it gives it a bit more strength. I never noticed that between on my tent as a, a disadvantage on the Kodiak, but the Kodiak was cheaper. And I like the design. There are a couple design elements in the Kodiak I really, really like. Uh, I'm not sponsored by anybody, but uh, so go to whoever you want. Anyway, that's going to be about it for now. And um, if you got any questions or you disagree or you know something that I haven't covered, please put it down below in the comments because I certainly believe that um, everybody benefits from the comments they read them and and if they're helpful i'll keep them and uh, uh so other than that you guys we'll see you down the road like subscribe share give us your comments and we'll see you guys next week